Please just tell me where we're going. Isabella. Mum would have wanted us to open this bakery, so that is what we're going to do. You can definitely see its potential. What? It's a crack den. I've come from a family where baking was always at the core of the family, so I wanted to translate that onto the screen because I think it brings people together in a beautiful way. Eliza loves cakes. <laughs> I love cakes, I have to say. <laughs> the first I time we met was yeah. bonding over cakes. Yeah. So. I'm here about the baking job. It's a rose macaron filled with rose petal and lychee cremeur and fresh raspberries. Working together is a total joy because we've known each other over the years. Um, and here we are back in what we both call Haim, actually. Um, and we met in this city, yes, in Glasgow. Yes, we did, we did. Can I say the, the year? Was it 70, 71? <laughs> 70, <laughs> absolutely yeah, well, no idea. Know. Who cares? We don't mind. She was, um, she was a toddler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a toddler. There are four other bakers. What makes you so special? Why don't you try one? Tell me. Good luck. Basically, we were lucky enough to be supported by Otto Lenghi, um, who sponsored most of the cakes, but also we had to go and do some research across London to get some international bakes from all over the place. And we had on-set bakers who would create some magical pieces for us, so it was a mix of things. I wish I could put some input into this, but I'm vegan, so it was, it was a little bit of a struggle on set. This city is home to people from all over the place. We make our bakery something to remind them of home. Glasgow is a big cake city. City bakeries, I grew up with them. You know, yes. We had branches, five branches in one block sometimes of city bakeries. It's a town that likes its cakes. Yeah. Love, Sarah. Would you like to come in for a coffee? I might be up all night. Lucky me.